Hi, so this is a short video just to show how you can quickly create a, uh, a semantic layer over a, uh, a Oracle table uh, and then um, use a generic reporting tool to report on that. Uh, so first of all, uh, so that splits into two activities, obviously what the developer does and makes that available then for users to, uh, to use. So starting with the developer work, so uh, the developer would uh, go into the universe design tool. Um, we'll just do a standalone here, won't connect. You create the universe name, give it a name, so we'll call it pivot. Um, we've got a connection straight through to the pivot schema here um, that um, I got access to today. Um, we go on, it's read uh, all of the uh, all of the data dictionary from Oracle. Uh, this is the development schema on EDW, so there's an awful lot of schemas. So if I sit down to the pivot one, we see all the uh, pivot tables in that schema. And I think it's data, data grid attributes, that's that uh, materialized view um, that I think you were using for one of the reporting requirements. There's all the columns in it. So we print next. Uh, sorry, press next. Uh, create pivot measures. We've got 16 columns that put it into classes, a class of measures. There aren't any measures relevant to this. Those are the column names. There's the table. It's simple as that. We save the universe. Uh, we could obviously change those descriptions if we wanted to, to anything you wanted. Um, and we can save uh, the universe there. So that's the universe created. We can then distribute that out onto a, a, a web, uh, put it in the uh, repository, and then any user could use that. Um, we'll just use it locally here using uh, this reporting tool, uh, the rich client. There's the universe that's been created uh, now. I don't know what that timestamp looks a bit late, but anyway, that's all we've created now. Um, there are the columns. So the user could simply say, right, well, let's take all the columns. Uh, we'll put a filter on it. So let's filter on a project name. Um, we can put a prompt in there for that. Run the query. It's prompted us for a project name. Pick a project name. I don't know, that one. Execute query, and there's the data back. Obviously, there's loads of other functionality in here to uh, format the report, change, give the report a name. You could create charts. Uh, you could uh, pivot the uh, data uh, and uh, save it as any of these uh, document types, including Excel. Uh, and it would store it on your uh, local machine. So there you go. Simple as that.